Welcome back to the Hollywood News Channel, where we update you with the latest news of the day. Hello and welcome to the show. Donald Trump met with Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky at a posh diplomatic reception Tuesday night during United Nations General Assembly week, according to a photo the newly elected leader tweeted from the event. Zelensky tweeted out a photo of himself, the President, First Lady Melania Trump and Ukrainian First Lady Olena Volodymyrovna Zelensky at the event. The two couples are smiling with Zelensky and his wife framing the Trumps. The reception took place at the Lot New York Palace Hotel, a luxury five-star hotel near Trump Tower, and was part of Leader Day at the annual UN meeting. The event was closed to the media and no details or guest list were released. Zelensky tweeted a photo from the reception Wednesday morning with a note. Yesterday communicated with at real Donald Trump and at FLOTUS at the official reception from the US President and First Lady. Today we will continue in the working mode, according to Google Translator. Trump and Zelensky are scheduled to meet Wednesday afternoon amid a political controversy from a July 25th phone call between the two leaders that sparked the launch of a formal impeachment inquiry against Trump. The White House did not respond to DailyMail.com's inquiry about the two leaders running at the diplomatic reception. The controversy began when a whistleblower alleged President Trump asked Zelensky to investigate former Vice President Joe Biden and his son Hunter Biden, who sat on the oak board of an Ukrainian gas company, and their ties to a Ukrainian prosecutor investigating the country. Trump originally denied making such a move before conceding Biden came up in the July 25th phone call. The White House released the full unredacted transcript of the call between the two leaders Wednesday morning. The transcript shows Trump mentioned Joe Biden by name and asked the Zelensky to talk to Attorney General William Barr and the President's personal attorney Rudy Giuliani about Biden and his son. There is a lot of talk about Biden's son that Biden stopped the prosecution and a lot of people want to find out about that. So whatever you can do with the Attorney General would be great, Trump says, according to the transcript. Biden went about bragging that he stopped the prosecution, so if you can look into it, it sounds horrible to me, the President told Zelensky. The Ukrainian President assured Trump, the next Prosecutor General will be 100% my person, my candidate, who will be approved by the Parliament and will start as a new Prosecutor in September. He or she will look into the situation specifically to the company that you mentioned in this issue. The issue of the investigation of the case is actually the issue of making sure to restore the honesty, so we will take care of that and will work on the investigation. Additionally, there were reports the President threatened to hold up military aid to the Ukraine unless the country investigated the biddens. Trump dangled the influence of the US in the call, he said. We do a lot for Ukraine and spend a lot of effort and a lot of time. On Tuesday, Trump admitted he ha- had held up millions in aid to Ukraine before holding the call from with Zelensky, but he insisted he wasn't trying to apply pressure to generate a bit of investigation. He was perturbed, he claimed, that European powers weren't themselves willing to put up money to support Ukraine's military defense. I think it's unfair that we put up the money. Then people called me. They said, oh, let it go, and I let it go. But we paid the money. The money was paid. But very importantly, Germany, France, other countries should put up money. And that's been my complaint from the beginning, Trump said. European nations also have provided support to Ukraine. And in July, weeks before Trump's July 25th phone call with Ukraine, provided 17.7 million euros in humanitarian assistance. Hunter Biden had ties to a natural gas firm in the Ukraine and was being investigated by a prosecutor there as part of a corruption probe. And Giuliani has suggested that Biden, who was then vice president, protected his son from investigation. Biden said earlier this month he had never spoken to my son about his overseas business dealings. Thank you. Thank you for watching The Hollywood News. Don't forget to like and share the updates to the latest information of the day.